Now let's learn more about the search modes of force. Discrimination 2. It is the two-tone and the deepest one among discrimination modes. In the discrimination 2 mode, the device will produce a low tone for iron and for all other metals. It will produce a single tone just like in the general search mode, which increases in pitch as the coil approaches the target. It provides good results, especially in clean fields without much trash metals. In rocky or trashy fields, however, you can perform deeper searches by using the ID masking feature and sweeping the search coil more slowly. ID masking is available in this mode. The ID masking default value is set to 10, so positive or negative hot rocks will be ignored in this mode. You must ground balance for ID masking to perform correctly. Now let's see how ID masking works. Right now, we are getting a target ID of 20 from a ferrous metal. So we set the ID mask to 20. As you currently see in the video, the device is no longer producing a warning tone for the metal. Discrimination 3. This is the three-tone discrimination mode. The device will emit a low grunt tone for iron and ferrous metals, a low tone for gold and foil, and a high tone for non-ferrous metals such as silver, brass, and copper. ID masking is available in this mode. If you want, you can use the ID masking to ignore unwanted targets. This mode is ideal to use in fields with trash or different types of metals, enabling you to search faster with audio discrimination. Conductive ground. This is the special mode of force core designed for conductive ground such as wet beach sand, alkali sand, etc. This mode has two important features. First, the ID masking is preset to 40 in this mode to eliminate ferrous metals or ground effects due to iron mineralization. Second, the device will ground balance easily on all types of ground. The reason for this is that while the device can ground balance automatically between 40 and 90 in the other discrimination modes, it can ground balance between 0 and 90 in this mode. To give you an example, we will first try to ground balance the detector for this iron rock in another mode. As you currently see, we cannot ground balance. Now we will try the same thing in the conductive ground mode. And we see that the device easily ground balances. So this mode enables you to easily ground balance the device on conductive ground where normally you can hardly ground balance or cannot ground balance it at all. Because the ID masking is preset to 40 in this mode, the device will not emit a warning tone for ferrous metals. When ID mask value is lowered, it will produce a low tone for iron and ferrous metals.
For all other metals, it will produce a single tone just like in the general search mode, which increases in pitch as the coil approaches the target. General search mode, sometimes referred to as the all metal mode. This is the deepest mode of the device. Different than the other modes, this mode has a constant threshold sound in the background. The loudness of this sound directly impacts the detection depth and it is adjusted by the threshold setting. In the general search mode, the device will detect all targets, metal, high mineralized rocks, etc., without discrimination. The ID of the detected target will be displayed on the screen and the device will emit the same tone for all targets. The audio warning tone will increase in pitch as the coil approaches the target. Positive hot rocks sound just like metals and tend to give a short zip-zip sound. In general, their target IDs will range between 1 and 5. Negative hot rocks, on the other hand, tend to give a longer boing sound. The device will not give an ID for these rocks regardless of the signal strength or will rarely give an ID between 95 and 99. ID masking is not available in this mode, so it is disabled in the menu.